In this lesson, we're going to introduce two vocabulary terms that come up often when talking about integers. Um, so the first is that of the absolute value. So the absolute value of a number is just its distance from zero. Now, uh, we're going to indicate the absolute value of a number by two vertical bars. So symbolically, um, the absolute value of negative 5 here is written as negative 5 within these two vertical bars. Um, the other term we want to define is the opposite. So the opposite of a number is just the number that has that is the same distance from zero but that is on the other side of the number line. And we're going to indicate the opposite of a number uh, using a negative sign. So symbolically the opposite of 6 is negative 6. So let's just make sure we understand these definitions here. It says what is and we read this as the absolute value of negative 3. Well, the absolute value of negative 3 is just its distance from 0. Well, negative 3 is distance from 0. Distance is always a positive quantity, so that would just be 3. And then what is the absolute value of 3? How far is 3 from 0? Well, 3 is 3 spaces away from 0. So what you'll notice here is that the absolute value will turn negative numbers into positives, but it'll leave positive numbers alone. And that's kind of a little memory device for um, remembering how the absolute value works. But the best thing to do is make sure you understand that the absolute value of a number is its distance from zero. Now let's talk about the opposite a little bit. What is the opposite of 8? Right, well, it's the number that's the same distance from 0 on the number line as 8. But it's on the other side. Well, if 8's over here, which number is the same distance away on the other side? Well, of course, negative 8. So the opposite of 8 is just negative 8. What is the opposite of negative 8? Well, here's negative 8, the number on the other side of the number line that is the same distance from 0 is 8. So the opposite of negative 8 is 8. Now finally, it says what is, we have this negative symbol, parentheses, negative 9. Okay, let's understand what this symbolism is trying to communicate. Remember up in our definition here, it says the opposite is indicated using a negative sign. So Basically, the words negative and opposite are interchangeable with this symbol. So, I'm going to state here that this symbol means the opposite. So really, when I ask you to figure out what this is, I'm asking you to find the opposite of negative 9. Well, what is the opposite of negative 9? Well, the number the same distance from 0 on the other side of the number line would have to be 9. So in short, when you see this, the negative of a negative, for example, you can kind of think of it as the negatives kind of cancel each other out and just give you the 9. 